that was such lovely news to hear. Well, let's head back to the Fury Team Hotel in Düsseldorf to join Fraser Dainton. So, Fraser, I believe there's been more controversy surrounding the fight this morning. What can you tell us? Yeah, nothing seems to have been straightforward about this fight so far, really, does it? Uh, and prophetic words, probably unexpectedly, from Tyson Fury uh, in that interview a little earlier when he said he was going to the arena and he was going to have a bounce around in the ring. Well, it appears there's a bit too much bounce for his liking. We are getting reports that Team Fury have been and had a look at the ring and they're not happy uh, with what they've seen. It is a bit too spongy, apparently, in certain areas. Now, this means that the uh, boxing commissions uh, that are looking after this fight will have to have a look at it. Uh, decisions, of course, will have to be made. Um, but uh, a last-minute hitch, fingers crossed we will get that one sorted out uh, and we'll hear from Tyson Fury uh, himself a little bit later on, hopefully, uh, when we get there interview in that he's uh, been speaking about uh, in the arena itself um, so a last minute hitch it's not unusual we get these sort of things happening uh, when it's such a big fight with such uh, a lot riding on it uh, fingers crossed though uh, we get that one sorted out after the gloves strained calves singing all kinds of things everything's gone on in this fight so uh, perhaps not a surprise uh, that there is this uh, little last minute hitch many thanks Fraser and for more Let's get more now from Dusseldorf, where we are counting down to the world heavyweight title fight between Vladimir Klitschko and Tyson Fury. We can go live to Fraser Dainton in Germany. So, Fraser, you mentioned earlier Fury was unhappy with the ring. Have you any updates on that? Yes, we do indeed. Um, as we mentioned earlier, that uh, Team Fury have been over to the Esprit Arena to have a look at the ring itself, and they're not happy uh, with what they've seen. There is quite a thick layer of uh, spongy material on the ring itself, which Tyson wasn't happy about in terms of how it was affecting his footwork. His feet were sinking into that uh, spongy area, uh, and he's not happy about the fact that that may restrict his movement somewhat. He's been in and had a good look at it, uh, and as you can see from the way he was uh, bouncing around, it was making it a little bit more difficult to move than you would normally expect. Now, there are some uh, strict rules about these kinds of things. Everybody has to be in agreement as to uh, how the ring is before the fight goes on so that everybody is happy. There are health and safety issues, of course, uh, that need to be addressed. But at things, as things stand at the moment, uh, the Fury camp not happy with the way things are. Uh, I'm joined at the moment by uh, Mick Hennessy, who, of course, is uh, Tyson Fury's uh, uh, promoter and also Peter Fury who is Tyson's trainer they've just come back from that visit uh, to the arena uh, Mick first of all uh, just outline to us how things stand at the moment from your perspective. well obviously um, Tyson Peter and John went over and examined the canvas um, we're being told it's not completely finished yet so um, you know hopefully they'll they'll get their act together and, and make it um, so that it's, you know, it's, it's up to health and safety conditions, basically, because as it is now, what was seen today was the canvas was too soft and Tyson's feet were sinking in it, and that really is a health and safety issue. So we've addressed that, we've spoke to Tom Loeffler, we've told him our concerns, uh, seeing the preliminary uh, canvas, and uh, he said that he's going to get it finished and then we can all meet over there and uh, make sure it's right. And, and, and us as a team, we're, we're going to go over there and we're going to ask that John Rees, the chairman of the board, comes over as well so that we can get it sorted there and then so there's no, no further problems. Peter, from your perspective at the moment, you're not happy with, with what's being provided? Well, no, you've got uh, guys 112 kilograms sinking in the canvas. These are super heavyweights, so the canvas needs to be hard surfaced for that reason. You know, when they're moving quick, anything can happen. Just like Mick said, health and safety. I'm just uh, very thankful that we've gone over this morning and highlighted the problem. So <clears throat> they've got plenty of time as the day goes on to remedy it and fix it. So we're just happy we spotted this to this early because the canvas is very, very soft. Well, it's too soft, so it has to be changed. So what needs to be done as far as you're concerned? Is it just a, a matter of ripping that off or is it a new uh, subsurface, if you like, that needs to go on? Yeah, the subsurface is very soft sponge. There's about two layers, which is a, a minimum of two inches thick. They need to take that off and put some proper durable stuff underneath, then put the canvas on top and stretch it over. The same as what, we're just after a standard ring now. The ring, he do, the ring we used in the, um, the open public workout, you know, that's a proper surface. It's a proper canvas, you know. We want the same ring as that. We don't want anything special, we want a normal ring, but the ring we have seen is super soft. It's, uh, it'd be ridiculous and uh, it would affect Tyson, ultimately, probably Vladimir as well, we don't know.
but Tyson would prefer a much harder surface in order to be able to move better and show what he's capable of. Absolutely. That ring has got to be right. Both sides have to be happy with it. And uh, we're looking into it now. We've been told we have to go back to have a look at it once it's uh, completely finished. So hopefully they'll have ripped that uh, soft sponge out, put the correct stuff on it, and then uh, squeezed it over and uh, let's have a look at it. The good news, uh, Mick, I guess, is that uh, you are talking, you, you're trying to get it sorted out and, and finger cross uh, that is the way everything goes. Yeah, we just need some common sense here, really, because it's, it's in both fighters' interests, it's in the public's interest that the canvas is right. Otherwise, you, you won't get the performance that we're all, we're all looking to, to, to see tonight. So, you know, let's, let's be fair, let's get it right, let's make it a, a level playing field and, uh, and, and let's get this on. Nothing is ever straightforward, is it? But for you, I mean, you've known Tyson many, many years, been involved with him. You must be desperate to get this on and get him the chance now to try and win the world title. Absolutely. He's been let down so many times through no fault of his own. So we just, you know, we want to we want to see him reach his destiny. He's destined to become not only heavyweight champion in the world, but, you know, so, a big star in the heavyweight this, uh, division, someone who can unify titles and someone who can be a worldwide star instead of, you know, just in his own country. Well, gentlemen, we uh, will cross our fingers. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, negotiations ongoing. Fingers crossed. This is just another little hurdle uh, before we get to the main event itself. Everything will be sorted, and Tyson Fury will tonight get his chance. Many thanks, Fraser. So the big fight is always here. Klitschko versus Fury for Connected Sky customers. The easiest way to book is with your remote control. Simply press box office and navigate to the sports tab and select the fight. Booking with your remote is the only way to add the event to your Sky planner and you will then only be charged if you watch it. Cable customers should contact your operator for the latest news and views. As well as all the booking details, go to skysports.com forward slash Klitschko Fury.